black music. One of the great artistic contributions to American culture. Its roots are in the music of Africa, the plantation, the city's ghettos, the church, the nightclub, the theater. Black artists have drawn on all these strains to create a new American music. Jazz, hot and cool, swing, bop, rock and roll, rhythm and blues. In 1957, Louis Armstrong visited Ghana in West Africa. Black American music returned to the place from which it had come. left Africa for the colony of Virginia in 1619. In 1700, Mr. Thomas Starks, a slave dealer in London, directed the captain of the ship Africa to take on a cargo of 450 slaves. He included the typical admonition, make your Negroes cheerful and pleasant, make them dance to the beat of your drum. By 1727, there were 75,000 blacks in the North American colonies. By 1790, there were 10 times that number. By 1800, there were over a million. Blacks now formed nearly 19% of the population of the United States. A naive but well-meaning Thomas Jefferson said, in music, they are generally more gifted than whites with accurate ears for tune and time. My skin is black And my arms are long Nina Simone sings of black women. My hair is woolly and my back is strong. Strong enough to take all the pain that's been inflicted again and again and again and again and again. What do they call me? My name is Ed Sarah. My 
my skin is brown And my manner is tough Cause I swear I'll kill the first person that messes with me Cause my life has been too rough I'm awfully bitter these days Because my parents were slaves What do they call me? Black religious and black secular music have blended. The church was always looked upon as a refuge from the alien white world. The spirituals, sometimes called spontaneous generations of song, were sung in marvelous complication and variety. This is Mahalia Jackson, one of the great popularizers of the church sound. By the mid-19th century, there had emerged a growing hope, emancipation, an end to slavery. But still, almost 90% of America's blacks were unfree. We're in the same boat, brother. We're in the same boat, brother. And if you shake one end, you're gonna rock the other. It's the same boat, brother. Come here, black woman. Uh, hmm, don't you hear me crying, oh Lordy? Thumbs up the woes of black men everywhere. Come on. 
singers like Huddy Ledbetter, better known as Lead Belly, sing protest songs first sung at the turn of the century. Good morning, Blue. Good morning, dear, you do. Good morning, Blue. Good morning, dear, you do. I'm doing all right. Good morning, how are you? During the gay 90s, ragtime music swept the country. Then, ragtime and blues converged into classic New Orleans jazz, one of the fundamental developments in American music. King Oliver's band and Jelly Roll Morton were pioneers in the jazz sound. Black America started to export some of its talent. Josephine Baker, daughter of a domestic worker from St. Louis, became the toast of the Folie Berger in Paris. Back home, people listened to the Empress of Blues, Bessie Smith, sing W.C. Handy's classic St. Louis Blues. This film, shot in 1929, is the only film record of the great Bessie Smith. were abruptly brought to an end by the stock market crash of 1929. A frightening depression followed with its unemployment and bread lines. The late 30s and early 40s saw a global war. The whole country listened and danced to the music of Count Basie's band famed for its pace and vital rhythmic impulse, as well as for its remarkable soloist. Make you drink and gamble. Make you stay out of my life. 
Billie Holiday sang about emotions common to everyone. A noted jazz critic said of her, she's the dark lady of the sonnets. Sometimes you are afraid to listen to this lady, for nothing was more perfect than she was. Love will make you do things that you know is wrong. like Billie Holiday lives on today in the music of B.B. King. influential of all the big band leaders and composer arrangers was Edward Duke Ellington.
tradition of innovation in music is carried on today by jazz artists like Julian Cannonball Adderley with cool jazz instrumentals like Mercy, Mercy. African musical tradition was one of primacy of rhythm, sometimes several rhythms going on simultaneously. It was regarded as music for the dance, although the dance involved was often only a mental one. That same musical tradition lives on today in the contemporary music of groups like Sly and the Family Stone. music in America began as the African drum beat and plantation song, ignored and then suppressed by white culture. Today, as the black man has moved into every sphere of American life, his music has become the dominant music of all America.
Nina Simone sums up the pride that black people feel in her unforgettable to be young, gifted, and black.